for the audio listeners, I'm filling up my water in the water cooler. The water cooler actually works. And um, a little sneak preview for the people um, who are coming to the live show. The water cooler will be at the live show. So you've nice. got that to look forward to. That'd Don't get too excited. Really cool. Yeah. Also, if Try you are coming to the... cooler. Mm, <laughs> if you're coming to the live show, then please, we want you to be part <coughs> of the live show. Um, we are going to be doing things where we need your dilemmas and um, we're going to get them pre-approved. So if you could please send an email to the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com Do it. and make the title of the email something like live show dilemma. And then we're going to pick out the best ones personally. Um, and then we'll get you to send off your ticket reference number and someone from our management will be in touch about you being involved in the live show. But we're very excited. Yeah, we are. And <laughs> um can't yeah. wait mm-hmm. so how have you been george i've been blooming fantastic oh. you've been a bit busy haven't you i'm literally feel like i'm I mean, on i've, I've been death. busy but uh, i'm just less of a drama queen are oh, you, how, okay, then. how are you how are you feeling you've been running on less sleep in fairness i'm literally i don't do well under little sleep either i'm like I, is he I, a rapper yes yes he is um i feel absolutely dreadful I am so unbelievably exhausted. I feel like I'm starting to go a bit insane. Tell you what. I just felt like the ceiling was going to fall on us then. Just lean back and just take a little second to relax. That's what you need. Ah! Oh! Oh my God. What is that? Why did you do that? Oh my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought you were being nice then. Oh my god! I don't. I hate it you. How the fuck did you do that? Oh my god! Don't worry, wait, wait, do it again. That genuinely. That genuinely scared me a lot. <laughs> you know, look, look at my speaker yeah, is. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. Do I you know, can see it. I've you, just filled up my you water like water twice. Off, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. For the audio like, listeners, you... George just hashtag pranked me. Ah. Ah. Right, do you want to turn the speaker off so it doesn't run out of battery, please? <laughs> Thank you. Very essential work. Press, the, the, press the light that's on. Press the light. Oh. <laughs> Very aggressive. <laughs> right, I'll put it here. Um, there you go. Um, yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> that ginger, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, what uh, what have I been doing? <laughs> what have I done since I last saw you? Um, when did I last see you? Last week? <laughs> <laughs> when was it? That tends to be how these work, yeah. Um, I'm sure I when did, did I last, I last saw you yesterday morning. Did you? Oh yeah! Oh, Did George. you? I literally so I went to Ibiza, <laughs> as you all might have seen, and I just don't think I'm built for that anymore. I don't Shut think that that's I don't think that's my lifestyle anymore. No, you're you are built for it. I'm not. But you're not built for a brand trip where they try and stuff everything. Yeah. If, if you went on a gal's trip, no, I don't. Or even, even a lad's would, trip, if like you're cheeky that enough. sort of place, I don't think I would ever opt opt to go oh my god i got physically assaulted nice i don't know if i want to nice work and um homophobically attacked oh special um i think i'm just gonna ignore that one um but yeah genuinely so picture this me and all of our group <laughs> oh god did have to ask me twice i'm picturing it did you have to have clothes on shut the fuck up I'm talking about my trauma. Okay. Me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Might you just sit back and relax? Yeah. <laughs> Me and... So, like, picture this, like... Shut up. Buddy, yeah, what oh, am I picturing? My God, I'm not speaking properly. My brain's not working. So, there was, like, me, Grace, Joe, George, Andrew, Izzy, all there. And we were on one side in this, like, VIP booth bit. Right. And there was this huge group of like scouse women next to us. When yeah. I first got there, I was like, oh, they look like they're going to have a good time. Like, woo, there was about 20 of them. They nice. were on a hen do and they'd got two VIP booths. Oh. From the start, Is they it- kept going over into our area and um, just basically like taking up our space. But we didn't complain. We didn't say anything because we were mm. like, 
it's like a, a daytime pool party. It is what it yeah, is. It is what it is. Um, and then at one point, Joe walked into their area to get a picture because the sunlight was better. Yeah. And this woman literally goes, get out of our area. We've paid for this. And we were like, whoa, okay, what the hell? Like, we were very respectful when you were in our area. Like, chill out. Yeah. So we told the reps that we were with and they put barriers between us, like velvet Ooh. rope, um, like... You, you know the kind I know I've been on many a camp yeah and um, <clears throat> then there was this guy who was not on our trip with us but came over to our group what's his deal and he started dancing against the barriers I don't know if he was trying Ooh. to like antagonise them or if it, it just did antagonise them like yeah. his presence this woman gets up grabs the um, the Lighter. velvet rope no grabs like the velvet <laughs> rope thing throws it the big metal chunk on the end wraps round hits me in the face right there and then starts going oh you faggots oh you queers what the fuck is wrong with you she had to be restrained by four women this woman was huge and i'm not i, I mean like she, it, it, she had like heels on she was literally like over i'd say about six and a half foot a unit of a woman and she could have easily twatted any of us. And I'm not like fat shaming. I'm not saying anything. Genuinely, she looked muscly, like strong. Jeez. And she was very, very violent. Very violent. I posted a picture of her on my story because we, yeah. to be honest, we all really wanted to talk about it a lot more. But we were kind of, I'm just going to say, urged not to because it would be like bad press for the people that we were with. Yeah. Um, but I'm not going to name any names of any brands that we were with or anything like that because I don't want to get in trouble, whatever. Um, and I had a really, really... <laughs> <laughs> great trip other than that like the, yeah. the te to be fair the team that we were with were incredibly helpful and tried everything that they could but this woman was on a rampage for the next yeah. like, hour she was repeatedly trying to God. come over she had to be restrained multiple times to the point where Joe Bags felt so uncomfortable that he actually went up to his room Grace looked oh, like God. she was going to have like an anxiety attack yeah. Izzy was so stressed out she kept like working out whether she should argue back we were just trying to like be the bigger people but at the same time when someone was repeatedly shouting homophobic slurs to yeah. our group directed at like me joe everything and she'd physically basically literally physically assaulted me and, like thrown a metal rod at my face and didn't even apologize yeah. as like a, a 40 year old woman then we found out that she was the bride in the what? party and we were like Bride god Zilla. help that bloody groom because yeah. like if, if she gets angry one time she's gonna twat someone More like the gloom yeah um <laughs> literally but it was just wild eventually we went up to the balcony instead of being on like the pool level because yeah. we were just like we actually cannot stand being near it and then they got escorted out of the hotel after we'd left oh, so it was a huge palaver like genuinely the scouse king kong just assaulted you literally like literally, it was Jeez. mental. Sorry, I need to blow my nose. That's all right. <laughs> you know, it gets emotional. I can understand. Oh. No, but it was weird. Cause like, you obviously know that like, I, I don't think it was, uh, it felt like a homophobic attack because yeah. the person that was dancing was a gay man and dancing quite like, and then she, she just got riled up by it for some reason <sighs> and decided to kick off. And we were like, isn't it so mad that like, a group of influencers who have been like brought out you know it's all seemed like very luxurious even we were a victim of something like that because not even the paupers that are around you shut up the ones with all the money and the fame we're just like you guys we get hurt too yep nice guys don't always finish what last what You're nice guys finished, don't always finish full stop hey true you might not have a good partner yeah true but yeah, it was very traumatic. And um, I wanted to make a bit, I did make a video about it, nice. including pictures of the woman and like was so mad and still drunk. And I've decided not to post it because it was just like, yeah, wild. Yeah. But it made me so mad that a woman like that exists and she could like work with children. She could be, uh, she could have like, ch and oh, it was just her, her behavior. I've just never seen anybody get so rowdy like that like she literally had to be physically rest restrained mm. like four or five times wild other than that great trip <laughs> the nasty lady's gone now yes she is she is um what else the happened on the trip bitch. i was just so tired and drunk That's for so a lot funny. of it i asked that question to you without even opening my mouth ask me a question then what else happened on that trip yeah i tried to fold my arms and i just ruined where the microphone was yeah that's right um what else happened in the trip me and grace ran into a fountain 
Nice. And I find it quite hilarious because Joe was the one who posted a video of it. Yeah. I didn't even realize that there was video footage of it until the next day. Yeah. And in my head, I got in the fountain first. Basically, all the comments on Joe's video were praising me. Like, oh my gosh, Max is such a good person. Max is such a good friend. And... In my memory, I'm the one that drags That's Grace and so wrong, isn't it? But in my memory, I was the one that made Grace go to the fountain, and yeah. then I found video footage on my phone of me saying, "Shall we go and run into the fountain?" Blah blah blah. Because we were both incredibly drunk, and I grabbed Grace, <laughs> ran over to the fountain. I was going to take a step in, but I was going to take my shoes off first nice. and get in. So I, I had my, I was going to take like my trousers off, my shoes off, put my <laughs> bag down, carry on, and then get into the oh. fountain. And she just dove in, and it was so much deeper than anybody could have anticipated. And she completely submerged. Was it like under. knee height? It was thigh height, genuinely. Like the fountain, it was so deep, <laughs> and. Um, she just disappeared under the water. So I didn't even have time to take my shoes off. I jumped in, got her out, um, and then oh, that was that. But hero. what a hero. But like, in reality, like we were laughing the next morning. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> what is that? I'm doing a rock and roll, baby. Um, we were laughing the next morning because Joe was like, Max, I basically just done you a massive PR favor because everyone thinks that you're like this hero when in reality you were the one that brought her to the fountain. <laughs> and I was like, that is true. Um, but now you all know. Wow. I'm an awful person. No, we. D I didn't think like, oh, I was going to drown Grace. Yeah. Imagine if she died. Imagine if just someone died. How weird. It's a weird thing to just. I know, but like she could have. Post a hypothetical about. I, but like looking back, it's dangerous. Like you don't go swimming. You're not supposed to go swimming when you're drunk. No. And we thought we were going paddling, but we went swimming. 